So, so we're in the attic. What I was looking for originally was, I was looking for the ideal rafter. I really wanted to put this anchor um, on this rafter right here. But when I came down and looked at it, I could see there's a knot and there's a split right here. So on our checklist for installing the V5 anchor, the, the first thing is it says, Anchor location chosen for optimal worker safety. So we've got a rafter. We like that it was near the chimney. This will allow a quarter of this roof to be serviced well. So that's good. I'm going to check that. The next item says a rafter is solid and strong enough as determined by a competent person. My wife might disagree, but I'm declaring myself competent. So this rafter is not strong enough for me. It, it might be, but I'm not taking the risk with the split in the bottom of the rafter. So we moved over to this rafter. We wanted to be about two feet down from the ridge. And that is two feet from that section of the ridge. That's a good location. The next part says, Anchor extends the optimal distance past the roofing material to allow for the flashing plate. So, the flashing plate has to stop before this ellipse. So, what I did on the roof is I measured from the roof sheathing down to this point, I drew a line. This roof sheathing is uh, it's probably seven eighths of an inch thick. So I'm gonna add another seven eighths of an inch to that. So this line, this dashed line, is the top of my sheathing, excuse me, the bottom of the sheathing, bottom. So this is my rafter. So I want this. If this is the top of my flashing plate, this this shim, I want that anchor to stick up about that but that far. So that means the top of my rafter is about right here, which works out about right. So this should be about one inch down and this line is going to be parallel to the rafter. So I'm going to take this apart, we're going to put it up in position and then we're going to check it. So I use my little shim. This is the top of my um, flashing plate. That's the bottom of my rafter. I went ahead. I don't want my flashing plate up into my slot because that's where my hook for my fall protection goes. So I'm going to lower that about right there. I made a line. So this should be even with the uh, top of the rafter. I'm gonna put this and this surface parallel to the roof sheathing. And then I've got a little hole right here. Once I put this in location where I want it, I'm gonna put this nail in this hole just to hold it so it won't fall through. So I've just tacked it in place. I'm gonna tack it just a little more. Super. So,
when you're thinking about where to drill the nail holes. You never put the nail holes, the, the bolt holes, in the bottom section of the rafter. The top of the ra roof rafter is in compression. So, so pretty much we can drill these four holes up here. And when we put a bolt in it, it doesn't affect this rafter strength at all. Once we get below the top of this rafter, and we start drilling down here, the bottom of this rafter is in tension. So if I notched it right here an inch, this is no longer a two by eight roof rafter. It's only as good as a two by seven roof rafter. So if you ever do put a hole anywhere in this bottom section of, the, of a rafter, you wanna make sure it's two inches away from the bottom edge of the rafter. So these four holes up here, these four bolts are gonna be my anchor. This is my insurance policy. So with this pressure plate, and this installed perfectly, this bolt right here will be pulled all the way up against this pressure plate. So there's uh, different holes for different sizes. This is a two by eight roof rafter and a thick one. So I'm gonna wind up using um, probably my my bottom hole. So I'm going to need to move this whole assembly up until this bolt is touching this pressure plate. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and nail my pressure plate to my location. So I put my pressure plate in directly beneath where my anchor location is. I am uh, put a nail in to hold it so it won't fall. I'm gonna go up on the roof and I'm gonna, I'm gonna check and make sure that the flashing plate fits on it properly. I believe it does, but it doesn't hurt me to double check. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna come back here and we'll bolt this into place. 